Are you tired of the bland and censored AI roleplay on your phone? Do you wish you could do some uncensored sexy schmexy roleplay on your phone for free? Well, now you can. And today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, when we scan you a over on and happy new year everybody. I'm a little late, I know, but I was really sick. So this is the earliest video I can make this year. Once again, thank you so much for 2023. And let's hope that 2024 is gonna be an even bigger year for AI. And speaking of AI, what a grand transition. Today let's start the year by actually installing and using some AI locally on your phone. Now, if you watched my previous video, I showed you how to install locally the best UI for AI roleplay called Silly Tavern, where you could chat with any AI character that you wanted, use text-to-speech, have animated characters, etc, etc. And if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend that you do. But today, I will show you how to install and use that very same Silly Tavern UI on your phone or mobile device, so that you can have some fun wherever you are. That's right. So that being said, let's begin. Now, this following again will be specifically for Android devices, because I don't have any Apple products myself. Now there might be a way to make it work on iOS, but since I didn't have access to an iPhone, I could not test that beforehand. But you should definitely try it out yourself at home and let me know if it works for you. So to install Silly Tavern, you have two options. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the files onto your phone, then create a new folder on your phone called AI. Make sure that you create this in your internal storage and then put those two files inside that folder. And once this is done, we need to install a little piece of software called Tiermux. Now Tiermux is basically like a Linux emulation for your phone that you can use to download and install any Linux projects. And this is what we're going to use to download and install Silly Tavern. Now you could technically install Tiermux from the App Store, but apparently this version is not really up to date, so I highly recommend downloading Tiermux from this website instead. The link for it will be in the description down below. So basically you're going to click on the description down below, you're going to arrive on this page, then you're going to scroll down until you see download APK, you're gonna click on this, then click on download, then you're gonna open the file and select the package installer, then you're gonna press install to install this application, and then you're gonna click open. And there you go, now we are inside Tiermux, the Linux simulation for Android. So the next you're gonna copy and paste the three following command lines. Tiermux dash setup dash storage, then press enter, which will then prompt Tiermux to ask access to your device, and you're gonna press allow. So then the next one is gonna be CD storage shared AI. So basically we're gonna go inside that AI folder. So make sure that you have created previously a folder called AI, otherwise this is not gonna work. Then press enter. So now as you can see, we are inside the AI folder. And then finally, bash silly.sh, which will basically run the Silly Tavern one-click installer and then press enter and then wait for everything to finish and then here if it asks you what is the default action you're basically gonna input Y and then press enter and then just each time it asks you a question just press Y and press enter it might ask you multiple times but just keep pressing Y and enter and everything will be done very quickly and after a few minutes it will ask you which browser you want to use to open Silly Tavern so in my case I'll just use Chrome and lo and behold you have Silly Tavern running on your phone Simple as that. And it's now basically ready to be used. Now a few precision, if you want to quit Silly Tavern and you want to quit Tiermux, what you need to do is basically press on this little control button and then press C, which will basically stop Silly Tavern from running. And then to exit Tiermux, you're gonna type exit and then press enter. Simple as that. And the next time that you want to relaunch Silly Tavern, basically you're gonna go inside Tiermux. And if you remember correctly, we basically downloaded two different files, the silly.sh, which is basically the installer, and the launch silly.sh, which is basically the launcher. So to launch Silly Tavern, all you need to do is basically copy and paste the following command that you will find in the Patreon post and then press enter. And just like that, once again, we are running Silly Tavern locally on our phone. So that's really pretty cool. Okay, so that was the automatic installation for my Patreon supporters. So next I'm gonna show you how to download and install Silly Tavern manually. Okay, so the first command that you're gonna type is apt update and then press enter. Then the second command that you're gonna run is apt upgrade, then press enter. Once again, if it asks you a question, just press Y, then press enter. Once again, just like the automatic installer, you need to press Y for each question. Each time it gives you a choice, just press Y, then enter. And once again, just keep pressing Y and enter. Then one last time. So now that this is done, we need to install git, so I'm gonna type the following command, pkg install git, then press enter. So the next we're gonna clone the silly tavern repository, so you're gonna type git clone, and then the URL for the silly tavern github, then press enter. So now that we have the silly tavern repository cloned, we need to go inside the silly tavern folder, 
So you're gonna type CD Silly Tavern, then press enter. Next, you're gonna type PKG install node.js, then press enter. If it asks you a question, just again press Y, then press enter. Next, you're gonna type npm install, and then press enter. And then finally, you're gonna type bash start.sh and then press enter. And then finally, after a few minutes, once again, you will have Silly Tavern running on your local phone and finally ready to be used. Oh, and by the way, if you are on iPhone, you cannot apparently use Tearmox. So the software that you should definitely try to use instead is called Ish. So basically try this out yourself and let me know in the comments down below if it works for you. Okay, so now we are finally ready to use Silly Tavern and have some fun, right? Well, um, not quite. Because if you remember my previous video, I told you that Silly Tavern is basically just a UI. It doesn't actually run any large language model. It's basically just like a skin. So what are we gonna do to be able to run those models on our phone? Because I mean, my phone is definitely not as powerful as my computer. How am I gonna do that? Well, no need to worry anymore because I have a solution for you because to be able to run those models for free, we're simply gonna use a Google Colab Doc. That's right. And to do this, I actually prepared a very simple to use Google Colab Doc that you can use right now to run pretty much any AI model that you want. So basically, you're just gonna create a new tab, click the link in the description down below, then you're gonna arrive on this page. So then here, make sure that you click on this little arrow right here, and you click on change runtime type, and make sure that you have selected the T4 GPU and not CPU, otherwise it's not gonna work, and then click on save, and then you're gonna run the very first cell. And if it gives you a warning, just press run anyway. So once everything is connected, and you have run successfully the first cell, you're gonna press on this button right here, here to play a background music that will make sure that the Google Colab Doc does not boot you out of the session from inactivity. So the next, the only thing that you need to do is just run the second cell. I've already selected my favorite AI model called SciFighter 2, which is by far one of the best role-playing model ever, even for a 13 billion parameter model. So the next, you're gonna wait a little bit, you're gonna wait for everything to be installed. So once everything has been installed, you're gonna scroll down until you see here the OpenAI compatible API URL. This is the public URL that we're gonna use for Silly Tavern. So basically select this address, so just copy this link, then go back to the Silly Tavern tab, click on this little icon, under API, you're gonna select text completion, then default Uba Booga, and then you're gonna paste the URL right here, and then press connect. And there you go. We are now connected and ready to use Silly Tavern. Simple as that. Just basically select your character, any character that you want, and then start a normal conversation. And in only a few seconds, you should get an answer back from the character. And there you go. So basically, as you can see, we have installed Silly Tavern UI on our local phone, and we have connected via API a model running on the Google Colab Doc. Now you can of course actually use the same Google Colab Doc on your computer or any mobile devices that you want, and I would even say if you have a very weak GPU, this is actually a really good solution, because the speed of answer is actually really really fast. Now you can of course use any model that you want, for example, just basically replace the model URL right here before you run the cell, so if you want to run like a faster 7 billion parameter model, well you can absolutely do that without any issues. And well, pretty much everything works the same way as if it was running on your local computer. It is the exact same UI with the exact same parameters, with pretty much the exact same functionalities. Well, I mean, more or less. Because I mean, obviously, compared to a local computer, like for example, you will not have access to XTTS for the text-to-speech, or anything that uses a lot of GPU RAM. But pretty much everything else should work pretty much the exact same way. You know, selecting a background, using the visual novel mode, or importing new characters. And actually I'm gonna show you how with pretty much the same way as we did as the previous video. Basically, you're gonna go on this website called chub.ai, then you can search for a character, or you can filter by characters that have an expression pack, and also maybe by popularity, and I'm gonna choose the exact same character that I did in my previous video, the Doomer Girl Eileen. So basically, I'm gonna press this little icon to download the PNG file and download it on my phone, as well as the expression pack, which is a zip file. So now if I go back to Silly Tavern, and I click on this little icon, if I press on 
on this little icon and then click on files and then I select the PNG file that we just downloaded. Lo and behold, my character has now been automatically imported inside Silly Tavern and is now ready to be used. However, we also downloaded the character pack. So if I want to have this character appear on the screen, I'm going to actually click on this little icon, then go into characteristics expressions, check local server classification, then I'm going to scroll down until I see upload sprite pack, then click on it. Once again, click on files. Then I'm going to select the expressions pack that we've downloaded previously. I wait a few seconds and now again, lo and behold, all the 28th expression images have now been uploaded. And now if I click on one of them, they are now ready to be used inside Silly Tavern. And once again, if you watched my previous video on the subject, you should know that basically this sprite will change based on the current conversation. So like for example, if I say something like, I hate you, you see that now our expression has changed based on the current conversation. And everything is of course running on your local phone. And this is really, really cool. Now, as I said previously, you cannot really have the same text-to-speech as you had on your computer. We can still use text-to-speech if you want to. Basically, you're gonna click on this little icon, then select text-to-speech. You're gonna select system, then click enabled. Now you might need to reload it a little bit so that you can choose a voice for the character. So like here, for example, for Eileen, if you click on this, you will have a choice of a bunch of voices so let's say that I choose English United States. And now if I say something like, I'm just joking, and I press enter. Eileen says, still not cracking a smile. Well, it's not funny to joke about hating someone. Yeah, no, people get hurt by that kind of stuff. She takes another drag from her cigarette. But if you say so. So yeah, and in the end you should have something like this, which is definitely not good, it's not great. Although to be honest, if you are using this on your phone, I'm not sure that this is a good idea to use text-to-speech to begin with. But I mean, that's just my opinion. Now, if you're not interested by text-to-speech, there are still a lot of cool extensions that you can use. So like for example, if you click on this little icon and you click here, download extensions and assets, and then you click on this little icon, then say yes, you should see a bunch of new extensions pop up that you can download, like for example Dynamic Audio, which is really really cool, as well as an extension called Blip. Now Dynamic Audio is basically a way to play some immersive background music while chatting to your character. Like for example if you scroll down, you will see here a bunch of ambient sounds that you can download, and I download the sound. If now I scroll down, and I go to the Dynamic Audio option, and I enable it, then refresh the assets, and I select like a music, and then I click on this little icon, you should now hear a music in the background. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the music a little bit less powerful. But yeah, basically you can add any music or any sound that you want while chatting with your character. And also the next extension that could potentially replace text-to-speech for you is called Blip. Now, if you've ever played like these Phoenix Wright games, you should know what Blip is, which is basically like a way to simulate speech by playing some sound in the background. I don't really know how to explain this, but basically here's what it looks like. If I enable this and I select my Eileen character and I choose a preset, like this one for example, and then if I say something like, okay, if you say so, so anyway, what's new? And now if I press enter, here's what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Basically like the text will be like animated and at the same time that the text is gonna appear on screen, a sound is gonna play at the same time and basically it will make the conversation a little bit more dynamic and definitely way more interesting to follow. Basically exactly like those Phoenix Wright games that I talked about earlier. Now you can of course use like different presets and different sounds, you could change like a bunch of stuff for this option. So this is definitely one of my favorite extensions to use to basically replace text-to-speech when using the phone. Now obviously there was also a bunch of extensions that you can use that I basically all showed in my previous video. But also if you need to use the Silly Tavern Extra API, well this is actually not an issue. Because once again you can use the official Google Colab doc for the Silly Tavern Extras API. Basically run the first cell, press play to play the audio, then don't forget to click this little checkbox right here to generate an API key, select the options that you want to use, then run the cell. So then in the end you should have this local URL, then you're gonna select, then you're gonna paste right here. Here you're gonna have your API key that once again you're gonna copy and paste right here. And then finally you can click connect. And there you go, you're now connected to the Silly Tavern Extras API. Simple as that. 
So yeah, there you go. Just like that, you now know how to run Silly Tavern locally on your own phone. For absolutely free. Yeah, it really was as simple as that. Oh, and also do not forget that if you have any issues whatsoever, I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM on Patreon and I will try to solve your issues as quickly as possible. The link for it will be in the description down below. So that being said, definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And obviously, I know that you will. And there you have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.